wheels. Car's not super dirty. I mean, it's a lot of uh, it's like road film and dirt on here. Um, I did clay the car last time I did it, so it was pretty dirty. So we're gonna see what we can do. Uh, we'll have you guys in for most of the details and uh, see what we can do from there. All right. All right, so today we're using um, HyperClean uh, degreaser, and I don't have it labeled right now, but this is actually a company called uh, that I get from my local uh, detail shop here in Piscataway. Uh, it's just called Mayhem Wheel Cleaner. Uh, it's a pretty strong stuff. It's um, don't breathe this stuff in, but it's it's been working out pretty good. I might switch back over to the Pro one I was using. Uh, this one's not bad though. Alright guys, did all the wheels and stuff and now we're going to film the car down. Um, I'm using, uh, believe it or not, uh, if you take uh, Total All Solutions um, exterior, um, their hyper concentrated degreaser and you actually put the, when you mix up the concentrate out of your five gallons, you take that five gallons and you pour some of it into your foam can. This stuff actually does foam up really good, um, but because it's a degreaser it's going to help strip off all the road film. Uh, I'm almost positive it's going to take off old waxes and seals and stuff that's on the paint, but like it really to pull the deep, deep please the paint. Um, I know I saw a video in uh, Total All Solutions um, uh, Instagram story where he actually used the uh, that stuff. So I already tried a little bit on the wheel here, but uh, we're going to do the foam the whole car down and uh, I'm going to bring you guys back in later uh, when I start going through the rest of the car. But here we go. a degreaser that's doing this. Definitely got all the uh kind of wax feel that on the car it doesn't go on. Already back in the interior, but uh, just wanted to show you guys a few of the products that I use a lot of times in the interior. So, once again, another HyperClean product. This is HyperClean, um, their interior product that they have. Um, this is the stuff that you take, uh, comes in 32 ounce uh, con ultra concentrated bottles. Um, me personally, I pour six ounces of that into a gallon, mix that up, and then I use that as my degreaser. Um, what it's really designed for is that you can take it by yourself, like a five gallon container. You pour the whole thing inside the five gallon container and then fill it with water and then you can then dilute it down to whatever you want. Me personally, camera got messed up. Uh, me personally, um, I do mine uh, 10 to 1. Um, you, I've heard people doing 4 to 1. I mean, all different types of dilutions, I mean, it's really up to you, but I find 4 to 1 to be the most uh, it's economical um, and it pretty much cleans anything. I mean, like, 
you know, most interiors you're fine with. I mean, I use it on leather. I use it on um, plastic. I mean, there's leather on here too. Um, but you have your chemical. I use these little, um, I call them little iron, leather irons. Um, I call them leather brushes. I mean, a lot of websites sell them now, but it's like a little little choo-choo train almost looking. Um, but I use these. Um, these are surprisingly effective, especially on leather. Um, this kind of leather, or like even like leather like on the seats, um, they're good on. Um, and then I use, yes, the Costco microfiber towel. I use it just from all my interior work. I just never touch the paint except for the new ones. I use the coating sometimes. Um, these are you know, untainted. Uh, this one I've had for a couple of years, so it's already kind of um, beat up a little bit. Um, after that, a few companies sell these, but I get mine from uh, Miami uh, Chemical um, Supplier. He's out of Florida, St. Lucia, Florida, I believe. Um, and these are just, they're like basically like those gentle scrubbers that like auto fiber sells, but they're towels. I think auto fiber sells these too, but they're just regular towels. Um, these I like because you can lay open like on leather seats, you can use them flat, or you can even use them on door panels. Um, and then you're actually covering like a whole surface, basically whatever your hand covers so they actually add the pressure. And you can cover like a whole section, you can use them on... Um, I use them on hard plastics. Anything that just needs a little light scrubbing, because these they're not super strong. But um, if your car, if you get a car that's like not that dirty, or your leather is just like you know maybe a little greasy, um, you can use this on them, and it, it's pretty quick. So, well, the actual uh, interior cleaner itself, um, either spray it on the towel, or uh, usually the battery controls, I'll spray on the actual stuff. Let's sit for a second. Take your towel and then you're just going to kind of go through and wipe. I mean, I like it because you can cover the whole panel, door panel, I mean, whatever stuff you have left over, you can keep going. And there was some stuff here, but it's gone now. Scrub. Most of it evaporates, but if not, you go behind it with your regular microfiber towel and just buff off all the residue. Now, hyper clean interior, um, I don't know if it's because it's plant based, um, it evaporates uh, very fast. So, as far as like, um, I used to use McGuire's uh, like all purpose cleaner. Um, you Sometimes it would leave, if you didn't get it all at one time, like if you didn't get all the, the um, stuff up, it would leave like a white residue a little bit. Um, or you see like streaks kind of on, on the actual panel, especially on the leather, um, or like even like the black, uh, black, like the plastic that's in the cars now. Um, it would leave like white strips, so you had to make sure that you would spray it, get it off immediately. Uh, this stuff you can kind of spray, give it a little time. As soon as you wipe, it's gone. Like it's just, it evaporates really quick. Um, there's no residue left over. The surface just feels smooth. I mean, especially even on leather seats, it's not that bad. So I actually really love this stuff. Um, like I said, I use it um, six ounces to a, and make a gallon of product, so it takes up less room on my shelves. Um, and then you actually uh, take it, you know, fill it up with water. Um, and then uh, you got your uh, your chemical one. So I use mine 10 to 1. So so this is what I use for 99.9% .9 of my interiors. Uh, you can, if you mix it a little higher, you can use it on carpeting. Um, and it smells like citrus. It's like a, like a citrus, like, I don't even know, it's like a real citrus kind of flavor. I'm not really sure what, what the exact scent is, but it's number one.